Hello, I'm David. I have a little project today. I have a dash cam in my car. It's a black view that has um, a front and back camera, so two channel. Unfortunately, the back camera stopped working for some reason. I like, can get it to work for a while and then it stops again. So I'm not sure what's going on. So I decided maybe I'll get one of those here. This is a tiny little GoPro style 4K action camera. It was, I think, $27 on Amazon. And I played around with it. It actually works really great. I tested it. It does loop recording so you can use it as a as a dash cam. As soon as the power starts, it starts recording and the power shuts down, the camera shuts down. <clears throat> so I thought maybe I'll put that in the back, but I need a 12 volt power source or a 5 volt power source in the back. So I read online on Tesla forum, um, there is a way to get constant 12 volt in the back. It's actually supposed to go to the lift gate, but you can tap into that. There's a 30 amp uh, breaker on that, so a fuse, so it should be fine running a camera off of that. So I'm gonna explore that and see if I can tap into that wire. This is really a as I'm going video. I haven't done it, I haven't opened it. I don't know what I'm gonna uh, find in there and how it's gonna work. So I don't know how this video is gonna work. <laughs> so the first thing and most important tool I need is this. These are my Terminator style action camera equipped glasses so I can use both hands and film at the same time awesome I know everybody that looks at me wearing these I'm like is he a remote is he a cyborg or something <laughs> according to the sources the power is somewhere here behind this so you need a t20 for that all right don't be afraid to pull this out these clips sound pretty like you're breaking something but you really aren't okay so this hasn't revealed too much. I believe it's behind this guy here. Nope, there is nothing. Whoops. So this cable here is actually a cable that goes to the back. Can you guys see here? Oh, this goes to the back of the Blackview camera. I'm not going to mess with that. I'm just going to leave that in there. To get these clips out, it's helpful to have one of those tools because this way you're not breaking them. Okay, let's see. Here we go. That looks much better. Here we have some power coming in. Let's try to peel this back a little more. All right, what do we have here? Doesn't see lift gate power lift gate module. Okay, that's good. So here's some extra. I believe that's where power is, and there is a few extras here. So the next thing we're gonna do is lose all of these. And so now the fun begins trying to figure out where there's 12 volt. The negative is always somewhere on the chassis, so we can just put the negative somewhere here and keep it that way if it actually sticks. Here we go. And then we can use the other side to test it out here. This might not be the right tool because I can't really reach into that. Maybe I need another, a different tool for that. Hey, this would work. I just cut a little piece. Alrighty. Okay, now let's test this. There's nothing here. 1.5, 1 1.6 volts, interesting. 
There we go, 1.5. Interesting. I don't know, might be some sensors, whatever. Let's see what we have here. Nothing interesting here. 2.2 volt, interesting. Again, nothing useful here. 2.7. 2.7 volt, that's interesting. Voltages, I've never seen that. 2.7. 2.7. All right, nothing useful here. I'm sure one of those big red ones is 12 volt. Let's see. All right, let's poke around a little more. 12 volt, here we go. Found it. 12.5. Okay, so it's that little red one here, which isn't so little. Getting a little hot in here. So how about we turn on the AC? Time to fail to start. One or more doors are open. Well, yeah. What in the world? What does it have to do with anything? I have never seen that. Climate failed to start. One of the more doors are open. Why would that matter? So you can't start the climate control when the front is open. So I got myself a set of these. What they do is basically you put in a wire. So you put in a wire here, or actually two. You close that over, the little knife goes down. It cuts the insulation, touches the bare wire of both and makes a connection. So this way you can basically get the power from one wire to the other one without disconnecting anything. So this goes in here, stays like that. That would be the new cable coming out. And then the other side would go over that one here, for instance. Force it right now, but yeah, that's how it would work. And then close the whole thing. I'm not sure if I want to do that. Red and gray. The red and gray. Okay, so the blue ones seem to be the right size. Hey, there's the blade. All right, so now that we have the right size clips. So I don't want to have a 12 volt outlet. I actually just want this for instance here. This would be perfect. If I could have that like stick out somewhere. There is a little space here, but I don't want to have it come out here because I might use this space for luggage, put stuff in and out. I don't want cables to hang out and just, you know, in the way of where I want to have some space. So I'm still debating what would be a good spot definitely not on this side I'm putting in and out all kinds of stuff so somewhere up here would actually be like hidden somewhere here right up here it wouldn't be the nicest way to do it but I could just um, I could just dangle it out like this here something like that would actually be fine with me so for the negative I decided to go with a little more elegant proper method I have this little I don't know what it's called a loop something that goes right in here so I'm just gonna attach it here and then for the positive I am going from here my red and gray one with one of those guys here I know, that's not the tool you're supposed to use here, but uh, it's fine. Fine for what I'm doing. There we go. OK, 
Okay, got it. I know it's stupid that I'm using two blue cables for positive and negative. It's not the proper way to do it, but I'm out of the red cable. And I'm going to get this done. There we go. So now let's measure it. See if we are successful. Negative is still. Well, let's use the end of it. Alright, negative is here. And then this would be positive. Hopefully, we are right. Yes. So we have 12 volt here. Perfect. Excellent. And it is a constant 12 volt. So, I'm going to run them up here to this guy. Now, how do I connect it to this guy without being too much of a Frankenstein? Alright, since this is permanent 12 volt and the chassis is all negative, it's a good idea to just insulate it. Even though it is not fully bare, there's a little bit that could touch and create a short. We don't want that. Alright guys, look what I just found in the garage in a box. That is actually brilliant. Because now I have two 12 volt outlets and I have two USB. So what I'm going to do, I am going to attach these two ends on this side here. And then I can let this dangle out. Perfect. And Daisy is joining me. Hi. Last time I made a video, she just jumped in and slept next to me on the passenger side. She loves to be in the car at, long, at least when I'm here. Right, Daisy? Just going to make it pretty crude here. Let's leave a little bit just in case I need that. The reason I'm doing it this way is that I have this one is longer than this, so there's no chance that these two will ever touch and create a short. All right, that's good. And we can insulate it right away, pulling this over. Before we move on, it's always a good idea to double check whether what you've done is actually working or not. Actually, let me try this here. Yes, here's a tiny little blue LED, which means this guy works. And it's just your shrink. I don't know, I just believe in proper insulation, especially when you're in a car where temperature changes quite a bit. Okay, perfect. Might not look very elegant, but that is perfectly fine. So now I can dangle this guy up here. rest just goes in here that's fine that's all good all right let's close the whole thing up Last but not least, oh yeah, this goes 
underneath here and then it clips into the various spots I hope Now it does. Okay, perfect. Awesome. All right, so that's the final result. I fixed it with a little bit of Velcro, so it's not going anywhere. And Okay, so here's the final result. Just running a cable like here across to the camera. And that's pretty much it. And I have another USB port and I have 12 volt access if I need to. Alrighty, that's it. I can get rid of these now. Um, that's it. Um, hope you find this video helpful. God, it's bright out here. Hi, Daisy. Daisy's still here. Hope you find this useful. Uh, let me know in the comments. And if you think I'm crazy, feel free to comment as well. <laughs> All right, thanks for watching. See you soon.